With the current market obsession for going wider and wider... Uh. And <laughs> You'd be forgiven for thinking that the craze in the caravan market right now is bigger, wider, heavier, more luxurious. So it is absolutely brilliant that Swift have decided to go completely against all that and bring out something that many people have been crying out for for a long time. And that is the Sprite Compact at only six foot eight wide. That's 2.03 meters. It's maneuverable, it's fairly lightweight, it's going to be better for fuel economy. So let's take a closer look at this compact little caravan. And here we are. We'll start at the outside and we can see at only six foot eight wide, diminutive little thing. So the one thing this does lack, as you can see immediately from the, from the beginning, is no sunroof on this van and the front gas locker there is white where all the other sprites are graphite grey but the mains lead is on the offside, as is the toilet cassette hatch, always things we like to see. And we got a stabilizer hitch on the front. So as we come round, it's, it might be Swift's entry level range, but there is nothing entry level about the Sprite. Now then, weights, unladen weight, sorry, the mass in running order is 980 kilos and the empty PLM is 1,094 kilos. So this gives you a payload of 114 kilos, which is a little bit bare minimum, but we are sort of looking at a small lightweight caravan here, so it's kind of just about doable. So yeah, maybe it's upgradable. Do check with Swift. I'll leave a link to the Sprite website in the description below. We've got mountings here to put a, a two-lay bike rack, if you so wish. Obviously, that's going to come out your payload. And we've got a one-piece entry door with no window. We do have a light above it, but I really like these graphics. The sort of blue and the turquoise with the subtle Union Jack. And then this... Uh, these little birds here are just, I think that's really, really smart. Really smart. And we've got alloy wheels as well. So what is the price of this lovely little caravan? Well, the on the road price, and kudos to Swift, thank you for giving us the on the road price, is £20,695. That's the exterior, and a few stats. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Right, so I've popped the wide angle lens onto the camera and as we see as we walk in we got the kitchen at the back, it's got a corner washroom and then we've got the lounge towards the front. So as we step in, I mean it, you know, it obviously doesn't feel like it's eight foot wide, it feels like it's uh, six foot eight wide but it doesn't feel unnecessarily cramped. So Swift has taken the decision not to put lockers across the front uh, in the absence of the sunroof, which, uh, you know, doesn't look too bad. We've got the, the large roof light here. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> um, a lot of people will be glad there's no sunroof because obviously fewer openings in the uh, caravan means fewer opportunities for any disasters if there's any leakage or anything or breaking it. But yeah, anyway, we'll take a closer look now at the kitchen. Now, the kitchen is absolutely fine. We've got the four cooker oven, three burner hob, uh, my usual gripe, which is none of those rings are small enough for my coffee pot. So, yeah, I do wish Stepford would give us, you know, small, medium and large rather than two mediums and a large, but can't have everything. That's just because I'm fussy. So, Swift solution is, well, Use a cafetiere then, Ditton. All right, and Swift, I'll do that then. Um, these are all right. Where are my sockets? Where are my sockets, folks? So I do not see sockets in the kitchen. I do not see sockets in the kitchen. 
what I do see is sockets over here uh, where you'd also put the TV so it looks like your kettle folks is going here but this is at the same height as the kitchen so this is sort of a, a worktop extension and but obviously if you've got your TV on here as well that's not going to be totally ideal but you know caravanning it's all about compromise isn't it you've got your fitted microwave there and some storage here so one thing I will say uh, we're at the still at the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC despite the fact you're watching this a little bit later than that Swift do not use show lighting and kudos to Swift for being so upfront and honest but this does show you that this part of the kitchen is a little bit in shadow and also remember there's no window in the door here so if it's not nice weather where you can't leave the door open and remember too it's a one piece door so you can't just have the, the top open that part of the kitchen is a tiny bit a little bit dark and in shadow so um yeah just be aware of that you've only got the, the the little lights here above the cooker coming round, we've got a control panel we have truma heating in this caravan useful coat pet now you know attention to detail someone's thought about that someone's thought about the fact you're going to want to put to put your coats when you come in well that's a cupboard folks and no soft clothes the lounge, but let's have a look at the washroom while we're at the back here. Someone get the WD-40. So we have a wet room style washroom, which in a compact caravan is no surprise whatsoever. So, you know, most people will be using sites when they have this caravan. But you've got the ability here to use a shower I see no provision for curtain. That's not to say there isn't one, but there is no rail for curtain and there is also no drying rail. So that's a little bit, not quite as good as some of the, the closest competition there. Uh, oh, but we yeah. do have a clear roof light, which is excellent. Absolutely good. So it's adequate, you know, an adequate washroom. You're not that's how I feel now we're near the end of the show huge huge wardrobe almost long enough to put your ball gowns and yeah nice one Swift the tables at the side so you're not fighting with your clothes to get the table out when some manufacturers put it at the back which is not ideal but yeah and also your mains control panel is down here in other words, it's accessible even at night when the bed's made up. Attention to detail, thought about how the caravan's being used, big tick for Swift. Oh, it was going so well. Do I need to say what I think about this fridge yet again with the clips and the lights, the LED lights when it's on that will annoy you at night? Ugh. Anyway. Moving swiftly on. Swiftly on, swift. Oh dear. Sorry. Um, so we've got the lounge here, parallel lounge. Obviously, I will be looking here for a. Uh... Yep. So we have a little pull out table for, a, well, I say for occasional meals. I mean, you're going to be using that nearly all the time unless you're getting the table out to spread out and work or if you've got friends around for uh, for food you've only got bolsters at the front of the caravan we don't have bolsters this side um, I'm sure your dealer could sort something out or if not I'm sure Matalan or Dun Elm could sort you out as well with something and then what about lighting we've got these sort of down lighters here so there's no actual spotlights it's just down lighters oh 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 they, are they dimming oh oh i say that's the main lights so this is the dimming the uh, the lights over the lockers there which is hard to pick up on the camera what do we got here oh attention to detail double usb there 
So if you want to sit and use your devices and have them on charge, you jolly well can. And look. Excellent. So two USBs on either side of the caravan. That is brilliant. And that's, um, I'm afraid to say, something that miss, that's missing from the Explore. Are you, are you listening, Eldis? So bed sizes, I don't have that information. I will garner it from the website and leave it down here. Because I'm a little bit, hmm. I think I'm actually going to have to get lay down on this bed, folks, because it looks a little bit short to me. But let's see how we get on. Right, I am five foot ten and a half. Oof. Obviously, you move these cushions. Um, oh, just. I mean, just. Whatever the, the uh, whatever the actual measurement is. Um, just long enough. I would want it absolutely no shorter for someone who's five foot ten and a half. Um, I think if you are six foot or above, that's going to be a bit short. So, but yeah, there you go. Right, so that's making up the bed. Don't forget, obviously, you can make up a double by pulling out the slats here. Um, looks like they could have made this a bit, a bit better, but... Yep, so you can make a double bed by pulling out the slats there. One thing I've noticed, folks, there is no mains socket at the front of the lounge here. There's nothing on the shelf and there is nothing down here opposite the Truma outlet. And the switches for these little lights I found are here. So that's good. I feel we could maybe do with a tiny bit more light again at the front of the caravan. But again, you, as I say, you've got two USB sockets at either side. So I think Swift have been pretty smart here. While there's no mains at the front of the caravan, there is USB power, which is, to be honest, in the year 2023, is probably what most people are going to be needing. So that is the Super, well, not the Super Sprite, because that was the old outgoing wide, but no, that was the Super pause sprite compact so there you have it folks the lovely little sprite compact ideal for the serious tourer who doesn't want to be worried about scratching their caravan on bushes and things on narrow roads you can hitch this up and almost forget about it it's that's the real usp with this caravan so i hope you enjoyed this video folks if you did you know what to do please give us a thumbs up so whoa that wasn't meant to happen subscribe if you don't already and it just leads me to say from Dougal and from me thanks for tuning in Dougal and I will be taking a short break now but do come back and join us on Christmas Eve for our cozy Christmas caravan special